Hey, welcome back. So today's gonna be an improv episode. Oh, what's this thing? Is this a wrench? I'm I'm a plumber and I'm gonna fix your sink. Oh, but it's water everywhere. I don't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> I feel like that's my <laughs> that's my problem. Is like I don't. I like kind of making fun of stuff but i have a hard time like being in the thing so like when i did improv or when i do improv it's like hard to be oh okay i'm the character and like i'm in it and i'm really the plumber and i'm not like i feel more comfortable being the person who's like outside looking in and just kind of like because obviously it's so much easier to be that person to be like oh you're the plumber that's stupid and to be like commenting on the thing so yeah i did improv class on sunday and i'm probably gonna do it again this thursday we'll see i haven't signed up yet but there's a four week class starting this thursday improv level one the class was good. I don't know how much I want to talk about it because I already talked about it a lot in the Let's Play stuff, but it was good. And um, so it was called Improv 101. It was two hours on Sunday, and it was very 101. Like, we didn't do a lot of improv -y stuff, which is good. We did the hardest thing. We did do one scene. B barely a scene if you could call it a scene because a scene is usually like when you do improv it's like okay give us uh, give us from the audience a, a place and a and then uh, i don't know a, 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 where are we and you're like oh you're at the museum and then you're like oh i'm the guy from the museum i'm the inspector or something <laughs> and then that's the scene but we we did a scene where there's two people and you have to give somebody a present and um, you give them like whatever you want it could be like this or it could be like like this or it could be like this it could be anything and you give it to them and then they open it and they're like oh my god it's a teacup oh look at it. it's my favorite teacup for my teacup collection and then that's the scene <laughs> Um, and that was really hard. I felt good that actually that I was wearing the mask because when I did my scene, I could feel like my face, like I was, I always have this stupid smile on my face, like so uncomfortable, like, <laughs> like I'm smiling <laughs> because I, I just have a really, every time I'm uncomfortable, I have a smile like that. When you do improv, you have to be kind of confident and like certain so i was doing a scene the scene with the guy and he had he was pretending to carry like a heavy gift so he's like okay let me go back and get this heavy gift and oh it's so heavy and, oh, uh, uh. and then he gave it to me and i'm like oh so that was kind of easy but for me when i give people the gift i was like uh i don't know like i don't know what what am i supposed to do i don't know what here's your gift <laughs> Like, there you go. And then the, the people that I was doing it with were good. So they, they did a good job, but obviously I was bad at it. Um, the thing that I liked the most about it was every time we did a game, we did like six games, and every time after the game, the leader, like the teacher, who was really good, he asked us all like, How'd you feel? Like, did you like that game? Was it weird? And I was able to answer honestly. And that felt good because usually I would just be like, oh, it was fine. It was fun, whatever. But I was actually like, I felt uncomfortable doing that. Um, and he's like, oh, that's interesting. Why? Why? And it was interesting because the, after the first game we played, I just kind of blurted that out. Like, oh, I didn't like it. It was weird. I was uncomfortable. And I was kind of surprised by his reaction because his reaction was like, oh, like he wasn't expecting people to be like, oh, that, that first game was so simple. I didn't really expect anybody to be so uncomfortable by it. And he was like, oh, why do you say that? And um, 
that was a little surprising. I think just because I've, I've gotten so comfortable in therapy and in here, just like being honest about stuff that I don't like or whatever, that it kind of came naturally to me to just be like, I wanted to be honest and be like, because I felt like if I wasn't honest, it's not going to help me. If I was just like, oh yeah, it's fine. But if I verbalized like how I was feeling, that's the only way to help me to not feel that way anymore. If I'm like, oh, this is weird, and I don't, I felt uncomfortable like making weird noises, and because the first game was you get a ball and you have to throw it to somebody, and you have to go like whoosh, and then the other person catches it, and then they go whoosh, and then they go floop, <laughs> and that's the game. And I was like, I hate this game, because <laughs> the entire time you're thinking like, what noise do I make? Please don't throw the ball to me. I don't want to have to make a noise. <laughs> Um, it did feel like, like I need to be doing this a lot more, like once a week, it kind of feels like it's not enough. I kind of wish I could do it like every day because it, it kind of reminded me of basketball where I, or like sports a long time ago, I used to play sports and what you would do it every day, you would go because it's hard and you have to train yourself like this mus muscle memory stuff. You have to retrain like it's not natural to, to shoot a basketball or to dribble a basketball. It doesn't come naturally really to any of us. You have to practice to get good at it, right? And you have to do it every day. Um, so when I was doing the, the games, like it was like, okay, but we didn't really do it that much. I feel like I need it to be like a sport kind of where you go every day and then because the problem was I was still thinking when I was doing playing the games and you kind of have to stop like I need to I need a <laughs> I need like um, a whiplash guy to teach me to be my teacher and be like no go again go 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 so like when we're playing the ball game I need somebody to be like Okay, quick, go, whoosh, whoosh, floop, floop, flap, flap. We were going too slow. So it wasn't training my brain to just go without thinking. Um, I need someone to be like, not my tempo, not my tempo, go quick, quick, quick. <laughs> and I'd be like, floosh. And then I catch the ball and I'd be like, no, get, you have to just go right away, go, go, go. That's kind of like what you do when you play a sport, like you do it quick and then if you do it wrong, the coach is like, whoop, and he stops the game, and he's like, okay, what you did there, like, it's okay, but um, don't do that. Okay, let's run it again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, quick, 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 so that you do it without even thinking. But I'm still thinking. I'm always thinking about what to say. And I felt close to not thinking when I was playing that game. So I was like, that's why we, I'm so close. We need to just do it a little bit faster so that I'm not thinking and I'm just doing it. Um, it's so hard. It's, <laughs> but it was good that I did it. Um, definitely before I went, I was like, Ugh, I don't want to do this. And I didn't want to do it, but I did it. So <laughs> there's a class for the next four weeks on Thursday, it's called Improv Level 1. And the therapist said I should do it. I haven't signed up yet. I'm just worried that, like, doing actual scenes, because we didn't really do scenes. And I had, last night I had a couple dreams about it. Like, I was so stressed. I had a dream about, like, doing a scene with somebody and just being terrible. I don't know. The thing, well, the thing that the therapist said and that the, actually the improv teacher said is um, they try to make you feel comfortable by saying like oh like everybody thinks improv is hard but like you've been improving your whole life when you talk to your mailman you're improving and I'm like I can't talk to the mailman I'm bad at improv in real life that is why I'm here <laughs> like it, it's it's kind of a frustrating thing to hear. I know it's fine. Like why? I know why they say it, and they're trying to make you feel better. But like the idea, that like oh, you've been improving your whole life. N no, I haven't. I've been, and when I do it, I do bad. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to learn improv skills for real life. 
obviously, I'm not gonna be like on whose line is it anyway. <laughs> Um, but oh, I should mention like a couple of good lessons that I learned. So I mentioned how like part of me feels like if I just do this class once and then I'm going to fall back into my old patterns, right? But there was kind of one helpful tip that you can just keep in the back of your head that I think will help. I haven't tried it yet, but <laughs> so the idea is to just just say yes, like just agree with people. Even if you have nothing to say, just say yes, and then maybe the words will come. Like even if you disagree with somebody, um, just be like, yes, oh wait, maybe that's not exactly right. Just say, it doesn't matter. Just to get yourself talking, just say yes. Um, because you have, to, you have to say something. I mean, especially when you're doing improv, right? You can't just not say anything. Um, so that was good and I really liked it was pretty interesting I remember I think I did like one scene with the teacher I forget what it was but I remember when I was doing it with him he's like a I don't know he seemed like really good because he's like I've been doing this for 40 years and I'm like a theater major or, or something and I could tell it was kind of cool to to interact with him when he's doing like his f super expert improv thing because he was like being very engaging whenever I looked at him or like made like a bid to him like okay I'm like hey. he was like yeah 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 give me give me give me give me like let's do it he was very engaging and that felt nice like I want to be like that with people where I'm like I care about you like let's let's we're in this together and I want to convey that with a look, and I felt like he that's what he was doing. And he was like, he like turned it on, because sometimes when he was just like talking normally, he wouldn't do that. Sometimes he would, but sometimes he was just talking like normal, like, oh, whatever. Um, but when he was in the improv scene, he had like his improv brain on, and he was like, constantly like looking and engaging and being like yeah like like you can trust me we're gonna do this together and no matter what you say even if it's weird or bad i'm gonna make something out of it um that was very interesting to to be a part of and we didn't even really do that much together um but that was cool <laughs> i don't know this morning i felt like I can I can do the class because last night I was feeling like I really don't want to do this. It's gonna be awful. I'm gonna go. The thing I'm worrying about is just like going to this class and just being horrible, like absolutely horrible at the scenes. Like, okay, we're gonna do a practice scene. Anthony, you you're um okay. We're 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 in nineteenth century London, and Anthony, you're gonna be the chimney sweep. So Anthony, you come on after five minutes or whatever and you do the chimney sweep and i'm like oh my god <laughs> how do i do that <sighs> i mean that's the point but i'm worried it's going to be a negative reinforcement instead of a positive reinforcement like i'm going to go there and i'm going to be horrible and just feel bad about myself like i couldn't do it i couldn't do it and it's hard i wish it was like an everyday thing and not just like a once a week thing where you have time to think about like, oh, what I said was so stupid and I didn't do a good job this week and you have a whole week to think about it. But this morning I was feeling like, I was just looking at the thing and it's like, you don't need any improv experience. And I was thinking about the guy being nice to me, like oh, I, I should have signed up in the morning when I was feeling good because now I'm feeling like, oh God. I'm just gonna be bad at the scenes and I'm gonna be feel sorry like I'm sorry guys that I'm not good at this and like <sighs> I don't want people to look at me and be like why is this guy here he's not even talking I'm trying to do a scene with him and he won't even talk to me he's terrible like imagine if you went to play basketball with somebody and every time you passed him the ball he just like threw it out of bounds <laughs> and he's just like Ugh! like and he couldn't even dribble like every time he dribble he kicked the ball and he'd be like okay like if you're a good person you're like 
every once in a while, let's pass the ball to Anthony and he can try to shoot. But like, it's not as fun with that person. <laughs> like you wanna go and have fun and, and learn together, but you don't want somebody holding you back and I'm gonna be holding them back. Thanks, yeah, I don't know. Thanks to anybody who's watching or who watched this week, probably just Dalton, but that's okay. Thanks. Um, I appreciate it. So, uh, actually, so tomorrow on Saturday, I'm going to go and watch these people. It's called Mopco in Schenectady, New York. And they're going to, every Saturday they do an improv show and I'm going to go. And I'm kind of looking forward to that actually, because I want to see like how, what they do and how, how they do it and so that's my like happy thing for this week. I'm looking forward to that tomorrow night. Um, and if you're in Schenectady, New York, <laughs> you can see me at Mopco. Yeah, and the other thing was I, I've been playing a game that I like. It's called Nobody Saves the World. I figure I should mention a game once in a while that I'm playing. And I really like Game Pass. It's, it's this fun kind of just like brainless uh, game where you just like, it's kind of reminds me of Kirby where like you have different powers and you use like different powers, but it's also customizable where you have different abilities and stuff. It's pretty cool. And you, you gain levels by like your experience and stuff. It's cool. So if you have it you should play it because it's it's fun I, I like playing games like that where i just play it and then i watch like basketball or or asmr videos or something in the background that's always what i would do when i was younger too is like i would listen to music or i i remember we used to have a tv that had picture in picture so a lot I used to do um, I used to play a game on one of the pictures and then I would watch a sitcom on the other picture <laughs> I have a memory of doing that with Twilight Princess where I was playing Twilight Princess and I was watching like Everybody Loves Raymond or something on TBS <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I would do that um, you know what it was it was that procrastination thing of like when I would play a game I felt like time would go by quicker and I didn't want time to go by quicker because I hated school like I didn't want to go to school the next day so I was trying to like I still wanted to play the game but I wanted time to go by slow so like I put a sitcom on so I would be constantly aware of what time it was so because I knew the sitcoms were a half an hour long, because when you play a game, you kind of get lost in the game and you get lost in time, and that's what makes it go quicker. I think that's what I was doing without even kind of realizing it. But anyway. Okay, but remember, always remember, always remember, it's not time to die yet, right? And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> that's not going to be my sign off, is it? That's stupid. Whatever. <laughs> see ya. Actually, one other, one last thing. I, I could cut this out, but I, I might not. Um, I wanted to record. So on Hinge, you, there, you have like a voice recording that you can do. And I always, uh, well, I, I don't like my recording because it's very like nervous. So I thought like, what if I do it now when I'm a little bit less nervous and I've talked more? And then I could just play the recording back into the video and it'll sound better than it does now because it's one. Maybe I'll play you like what I did. This year I really wanna try new things like dating apps, for example. That's a new thing for me. So that there you go, I'll breathing. be one thing down. You hear him like breathing? Oh, this is exhausting. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's enough for the year and I'll to skydiving next year or something so that's the recording it's just really nerve-wracking when you press the record button and you're like okay I gotta talk now but it's better like this okay so I'm gonna do it ready let's try another take two um, 
this year I really want to try new things like dating apps for example that's a new thing for me so look I've already got one down um, and you know what that's probably enough for this year right so maybe that's enough and I'll just do skydiving next year or something <laughs> okay that's enough <laughs>